Is it not amazing how God can use people to bless each other, to bless others? Stay tuned and I'm going to show you exactly how somebody blessed me and they didn't even know that I'd been thinking about this. Right, it is so cool how God works in mysterious ways the other day me and Andrea was talking about different videos we could come up with that might help some of our viewers I know a lot of our viewers are in smaller areas can't don't have the spread like we have but still want to grow and some of you probably can't get around as well um, bending over hurts looking at raised bed ideas and things like that this is one simple idea that I done probably five or six years ago when I first started out with my smallest greenhouse I was trying to raise lettuce year round <clears throat> and this is what got me into aquaponics I started using hydroponics hydroponics is just using water and buying nutrients to put in the water to get your plants to grow better this is the setup that I used as you can see it grew a little bit of mildew it's been sitting outside for two years now that I have not used it at all but I told her the other day this is an excellent idea for somebody that's wanting to do it on a back patio a small backyard wanting something raised up because as you can see everything is that you make it at whatever level you want you don't have to bend over you don't have to weed and it's just using water so what I've got here is a piece of four inch pipe. I've cut two inch holes in it, but I run this four inch all the way down and I put a 90. Put me a small piece of pipe in there and another 90 and run it straight back down. And on this end down here, I got a cap to go in the inside of it. Honestly, I had one of those same caps up here and I drilled a hole in it but it actually over the years of UV rays it broke that cap down this one down here is probably pretty brittle itself but I don't have a hole in it I've got a hole in the bottom of this but this one that was up here had a hole in it so what I've done is I've just got a cap a, a screw in cap now and I'll drill a hole in that I'll show you that in a minute but what makes this crazy is we was talking about doing a video on this and we were also talking about growing some strawberries and I thought that's the perfect thing to grow strawberries in we can't grow them in the ground very well if you do you got to put plastic down you have to keep putting straw you it's a lot of maintenance I'll say that but this right here I've seen it done and yes this is a copy because I've seen it done I've seen it done when I built this that's what gave me the idea somebody on YouTube built this I think theirs was actually a three or four stage thing and they were growing strawberries in it when I started out I grew lettuce in it because that's what Andrea wanted lettuce year-round that's something of course you know you can't can it you can't preserve it there's no way to get it except from the store fresh so hence my new greenhouse that's why it's got so much lettuce in it but what makes the story so interesting is somebody sent us an email the other day and said hey would you be home on this certain date to receive something live something live I told Andrea I said well if it's a snake she said reject send it back well wouldn't you know today in the mail we got a bunch of strawberries plants so I'm gonna show you how to do this I've done it before with other plants now we're going to do it with these strawberries i'm also setting it out here on my back patio i'm going to use rain runoff off my roof to keep my tank full and that's what's going to run the system here we go
So if you followed our channel very much, you know I like to reuse, repurpose. This right here is actually what I was using last summer on my swamp cooler to cool my greenhouse. I will end up getting another one, but I don't have one right now, so I'm gonna reuse this one here for right now. Also, for the time being, it's not raining. I want some water, so I'm gonna use water hose. While that's filling up, I'm gonna show you you can order these online. I actually got them at a uh, aquaponics store in Little Rock, but they're little two inch cups. They got big holes in the bottom, that way the roots can go through. And we're gonna take all these cups and put in the two inch holes that I drilled. Now let's go get the strawberry plants. Here's what the little strawberry plants look like. All I'm gonna do here is feed these roots down through the mesh, these holes in the bottom of this mesh cup. And here comes my lovely assistant. Your lovely assistant's not very lovely. She just ran two miles. You can hold that. I told him it's crazy how the Lord works in mysterious ways because we were just talking about doing a video on using this thing. Yep. And we didn't say anything about nope. about it on a video or anything. And did you tell him who sent them? No, I did it. Our loyal viewer, Miss Margie. Who we can't wait to meet one day. This is all you do. And then the strawberries will hopefully we can give you an update on these. I hope shortly. All right, this video has to be for somebody out there because the Lord's hand is in it. I can't explain it. My very last cup with the very last plant. But that's just in that first package. One package done all of this. We're gonna experiment in other places. If I can talk Andrea into using maybe one of her raised beds, I may have to build her another one. But I do need to get these things in the ground pretty quick. Or AKA water. I've got my pump going. It's pumping the water up through the hose. Coming through here and each one of these, you can see their roots are wet. Water's slowing down. Flows all the way to the end. Drops down, comes back. And what I've got here is just a piece of pipe, and I got it to where I can adjust the elevation of the water. Once all them, the old roots start forming new roots and growing off of that, I'll be able to lower the water level in there. But as of right now, I've got to keep the water level higher. All right, another thing that you can do with that if you want to do PVC and use these little cups, but say you don't want to do something like that, uh, like the strawberries like I've just done, you can also plant seeds. They've got these little things right here. And you can take these and set them down in that cup. They've got that little hole in the center. You can put your seed in there. Put that in there. All you got to do is make sure you adjust your water level to where it's sitting there and keeping this thing moist. Your seeds will sprout. That's how I always done the lettuce. I would put a lettuce seed in there. And as you've seen on the end, that's why I had a lot of those holes right down there to produce. That's where I put a lot of them to sprout. And then once they sprouted and got bigger, I would move them up top or down on the other end where the holes are gapped out wider and 
make the, the lettuce could bush out. That's another idea. So if you're wanting to sprout anything, you can do multiple things. You can do cucumbers, you can do lettuce, you could probably do gourds, you could do, use your imagination. Put you one seed in each one of those, drop it down in there. Even in here in the greenhouse, I used one of those little things and I put a cucumber seed in it. So it won't be long and I'll have a cucumber vine growing up here and I gotta build a trellis out of probably paracord. Have cucumbers inside the greenhouse. All right, so I don't know who this video's for, but evidently it has to be for one of y'all out there that is on a small scale, don't have a big area to grow in. It could be in an apartment. Man, there, there's endless ideas. Use your imagination and I guarantee you, you can come up with something like that if that interests you. If this video blesses you, it will bless me if you say down in the comments thank you to Margie she's the one that sent us the strawberries to get this all rolling like I said I was already gonna do a video on it I just didn't know what I was gonna do it on we'd already thought of getting more strawberries just didn't want to put them back out in the garden we've done tried that a couple times it just doesn't work well for us I guess you'd say if you're new to our channel and you hadn't already, go down there and click the subscribe button. I think it's uh, right down there. If you like this video, of course, always. The thumbs up always helps. All the comments. We love getting your comments. That's one thing that blesses us is reading all your beautiful comments. Y'all people are the most amazing viewers, subscribers. Thanks for watching. And until next time, God bless. And have a good day. Oh yeah, and like always, like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, yada, yada, yada. Yes, I gotta fix my face.